गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच सो नाउ वी विल गेट इन टू द डिजाइन थिंकिंग कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इज डिजाइन थिंकिंग अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू वी अप्लाई डिजाइन थिंकिंग इन आवर रियल वर्ल्ड लेट्स गेट इन टू इट सो ऑरिजिन ऑफ डिजाइन थिंकिंग्स बट बाई हॉबर्ट ए साइमन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन डिजाइन थिंकिंग इज यूज बाई प्लानर्स डिजाइनर्स एंड आर्किटेक्ट्स दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग इट इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सेवन वाइल यूजिंग दिस डिजाइन थिंकिंग बिकेम ऑफ बिजनेस इंटरेस्ट इन फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटीज टू नाइनटीन नाइनटीज पीपल स्टार्टेड यूजिंग इट विथ बिजनेस इंटरेस्ट failure due to looking at the problems outside in so we try to look outside and then come inside so there were a lot of failures which started happening in when we are designing in problems can be solved much better manner if we look at them inside out first we understand the problem and then look for the solution rather than just first looking out for the solution and coming back to the problem it is the inside out approach so herbert a simon he is the person who has actually introduced the design thinking concept to this world of human centered design so introduction to design thinking a flexible process for designing solutions to complex problems creatively so as we have already seen makers mindset and design thinking is the process okay how do you achieve a makers mindset through the process of design thinking so design thinking is a process for solutions to solve complex problems in a creative manner you can solve in creative solution used in the arts engineering in corporate world and in social and civic spaces used in every subject with every age group design thinking is applicable to any age group any subject the concept and the process is applicable for everything works when creating any product be it digital content when building things with duct tape and cardboard as i said to apply design thinking for that we don't need any tools even a cardboard or a duct tape can actually be used to create a lot of prototypes even a paper and a pencil you can create a paper you can use a paper and a pencil to create your own prototype so design thinking is not that you have to apply all expensive things to apply the concepts design thinking you start thinking you start applying the thinking and you start doing it even on a paper piece of paper so it is for digital product creation it is for manufacturing it is for for any any type of business so design thinking's origins also were there in stanford university and they are the biggest promoters of design thinking their learning of design thinking is top of the world their concepts the way they teach <coughs> initially begin with few domains but applied across all disciplines so initially it started happening with few domains but now design thinking has started applying in all disciplines taught at the sum of the leading universities of the world taught at leading global corporate houses across the globe certain corporates have made design thinking a mandatory skill to be acquired by each of its employee so some of the companies or corporates big companies where they have started making design thinking as a mandatory thought process for their organization so applications of design thinking as we saw earlier it was for specific industries now it is applicable to all different disciplines okay so design thinking finds its application across a variety of profession from sports education research business management design thinking is widely used by professionals around the globe in various industries so business yes design thinking is applicable information technology design thinking is applicable education design thinking is applicable healthcare it is applicable 
sports any any different area or industry you take care tech design thinking is applicable yes it is applicable for your studies as well you can use the concepts of design thinking to prepare for your own goals in your career yes it is possible if you want to crack an iit you want to crack and neat you can use the principles of design thinking to prepare your plan how to prepare your plan and how to crack it you can create an entire concept around it and you can structurally follow it to get the outcome of which you want to get the outcome you can try it there is no such formula you can create that so design thinking is applicable for anything for that matter so some of these thought processes of design thinking very important thought process is innovative thinking what is innovative thinking innovation is doing something new or doing something old in a new way so any something new you want to do is innovative thinking or doing something old in a new way now you are learning in your school are you learning in your school no you are learning you are in your school but you are learning online that is a innovative thinking when the world started seeing that we cannot go out of the home there were so many innovative products started coming out where everything happens at home today we get healthcare service doctors service through video consultations at home we don't need to go to a clinic or we don't need to go to a hospital you want to get some doctors want to get some test done they will do it at home you want food food is available at home you don't need to go to the restaurant to eat the same food from the best of the restaurants you want services for different different aspects you want to uh, groceries you can get groceries at home you want vegetables you can get vegetables at home whatever you need you can get at home but how is that possible it is possible through innovative thinking the need arises to make people think innovatively once there is a need there is a problem comes up people start thinking innovatively and that innovative thought process brings about the birth of new opportunities so innovation is doing something new or doing something old in a new way by extension the definition of innovative thinking would be to think up something new or to think about something old in a new way simply put to think out of the box you have to start thinking out of the box when you don't stop when you stop thinking out of the box you go into a cell do you want to go into a shell or you want to start thinking innovatively and create products and services for the future generations to use do you want to become a creator for that matter the question is to you kids do you want to become a creator if you want to become a creator start thinking innovatively how do you start thinking innovatively you have to find a solution for a old thing in a new way or you completely innovate a something new yes you can do it once you start practicing the makers mindset as a daily objective in your own life what you are making today ask that question to yourself every day you will be able to think innovatively seek out inspiration innovative ideas often come from happy accidents and you should learn from your mistakes but never be afraid to make one very important we get the opportunity to work on innovative thinking by actually experiencing some certain things differently when we experience something which we need might be which is not existing we start thinking innovatively and we start bringing that solution for the market okay so innovative ideas often come from happy accidents we land up somewhere we fi find this is not available why don't we create this there might be other people who might be needing this product 
So we have to start thinking that and then start creating it. And the most important thing as an innovative thinker or in the design thinking principles, it is good to fail fast, which we'll t cover the topic later, but it is considered even if you fail, we learn from our mistakes so that next time we don't make that mistake and achieve our goal. We should not stop because we have failed or we should not have the fear of failure at all because failure is part of life. It will make us stronger. It will let us know what are the mistakes that we are making and from those mistakes we try to achieve the things better for tomorrow. The story of the Charles Goodyear. He failed in his experiments with natural rubber for years through great personal hardship and often on the verge of bankruptcy. So here you can see Charles Goodyear. Okay. He failed multiple times and he started, still he never stopped. He was bankrupt multiple times. In 1839, Goodyear tried to sell sample of natural rubber in Woburn General Hardware Store in Massachusetts. While showing his product to an unsure audience, Goodyear accidentally threw a fistful of gum onto a hot pot bellied stove. Okay. Accidentally, Goodyear threw a fistful of gum into a hot pot bellied stove. The natural rubber sizzled and turned hard from the heat and when Goodyear scrapped the substance of the stove, he found the rubber charred like a leather. This is where the existence of the leather started and this is where the existence of the tire started. That is how he invented the process of vulcanization of the vulcanization and the rubber tires were invented. See, he has been in this particular experiment of natural rubbers for long, 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 long time. And through a simple accident, he invented the vulcanization and the rubber tires were invented. And this is where the Goodwear tires came into the picture. Right? So, for all of us, as I said, failing is not bad. Failing is about learning. When you fail, you learn. You learn from your mistakes and keep on trying what you want to achieve. That is very, very important. Innovative thinking combines similar ideas. So often innovative thinking comes from combining popular ideas or products from different disciplines. So when you are thinking innovatively, you might be having different, different ideas, multiple ideas for the same concept. Then you keep on adding multiple ideas to one single idea and you combine it and then you innovate. So we have to apply those strategies as well. So how it happens? We'll see. In what is this? Can all of you name this? Which company is this? This is the company called Apple. So what is Apple into? Mobile phones? Laptops? What else? In the pre-Truskin smartphone world, most consumers control their phones with ugly buttons. So when we were using the smartphones earlier, it was the buttons were very not that user friendly. Okay, listen to their fav uh, listen to their favorite musics, access to the internet on separate clunky or chunk chunky devices, clunky devices. Okay, so these three were people were experiencing. They were using the mobile phone with ugly buttons. They listened to music in some separate devices access the internet on separate clunky devices. So they used to access the internet from other devices. Steve Jobs told the world he was going to introduce three revolutionary products, a wide screen iPod with touch screen controls, a mobile phone, an internet communication device that make Apple today what Apple is all about. Okay. Then Jobs revealed how Apple had combined these ideas to create the first version of iPhone. So these are the three things which is the problem. What is the problem? Ugly buttons. 
फेवरेट म्यूजिक लिसनिंग फेवरेट म्यूजिक एक्सेस टू इंटरनेट ऑन सेपरेट क्लंकी डिवाइसेस वाट एपल आईफोन डेड दे कम्बाइन दिस थ्री डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स इन टू वन आइडिया वट इज दैट आइडिया दैट इज दी आई फोन the most popularized phone which is used globally the best user friendly phone the highest cost phone who has done it apple steve jobs they follow the design thinking principles apple as an organization they follow innovative thinking they follow the design thinking principles in their organization from a to z whatever they do they apply the design thinking principles solve a problem innovative thinking often results from considering a problem people have even if they don't recognize it there there might be some problems which we might not recognize now we are not aware about but those problems are also existing so through innovative thinking will come to aware about those problems when we start inquiring we start questioning we start doing deep interviews we start think asking people lot of different different types of question when we peel the layer of why this why this why this why this we peel it multiple times then we get into understand that there are different other problems are also existing which can be solved through innovative thinking so cars were around back then of course but they were in practical they were in durable and they were they cast a fortune so the story of ford what we are learning is the sto story of ford all of you must be knowing ford company he is the person who is the owner of the ford in 1908 the first ts model rolled off the assembly line and suddenly travel become impossibly easier so Ford introduced the concept of assembly line, so where different parts of this vehicle are collected from different different places or manufactured in one place, and they are assembled in the assembly line. You can see this is the assembly line, and the concept of assembly line was introduced to this world when they assembled the first model, which is the Model T S in 1908. Okay. so the assembly line concept came into this world through ford that was the innovation they brought in at that point of time now the assembly line is used for manufacturing and other setups in different different products and companies even assembly line concept can be used in our digital world in terms of processing of the content and there are other different things where it is applicable but it was first used for manufacturing the first model ts where assembly line concept came to this world ford asked what would it cost to build the, this thing if i broke it down to its most basic materials and found a better way to put it together so every particular item is broken into a separate item and then they are assembled to become this car such a nice innovative thinking so what are the steps to innovative thinking define objectives very important for any innovative thinking process so what ford did is he wanted to define the objective of creating a car which can be easy to assemble and broken into different parts what steve jobs did with iphone he has solved three different problems in three different areas of product and he made it as a one single product which solves these three different problems how innovative okay so the objective is to solve that participate in workshops which involves lateral thinking process this will help you understand the importance of innovation so when you start discussing or brainstorming with lot of different people or uh, related to this particular area and you start talking you start documenting all this then you start understanding where is the problem and what is the solution we need to bring in so it is the outcome which comes from lateral thinking implement new ideas at an early stage face resistance and cope with change so start implementing the new ideas at this stage itself and then see what is the outcome coming out of this particular idea 
evaluate the application and the progress of the innovation and start evaluating. Once you implement a particular idea, then only you will know what is the outcome of that idea in the market or wherever this product is being used and then you can innovate further. So with this we are covering, we have covered the introduction of the design thinking. Now we will further get into the design thinking concepts. So thank you kids.